So it's been a while since the last career sim, and I figured why not bring them back. Let's do one for last year's MVP, but also a possible MVP winner this year, Christian Yelich. He looks like the real deal in the MLB. So if you guys want to see some more career sims, make sure you hit the like button down below. Subscribe if you're new and enjoy the content. We're approaching 15,000 subs very quickly. It's awesome to see. Let's hit that by the end of the month. I got something really cool to show you guys that I think you guys will enjoy. And also comment section let me know which player you would like to see next so let's get into it so guys if you are new to career sims on the show this is what we do we don't do anything actually <laughs> we literally let the cpu handle everything and we just follow the career of the player of the video today's player is christian yelich like i mentioned he's an mvp player so you guys you guys see his stats here he's 98 overall very good versus righties i mean very solid versus lefties as well decent vision good discipline good you know a little bit oh average i would say average fielding um good speed and when you look at his contract you definitely see that you know this is a player you would want you know it's a good contract he's a very good player it definitely helps you build a solid team around him so he's going to be in milwaukee till 2020 um and i'm excited to see you know kind of see how that plays out because he's 27 we have a, a four-year deal so it's going to bring him here to what 30 31 um, we're looking at his stats. He's got 95 home runs, 403 RBIs, and a career average that sits just around 300 um, and a, just under 1,000 hits. So I think he's definitely going to hit 1,000 hits. We're going to see a, you know, a few hundred home runs. He's going to get up to probably the 1,000 mark for RBIs. I'm just interested to see how he regresses because for, mo for the most part, he does regress very quickly in MLB The Show, which, again, is a huge issue in franchise mode so let's take a look let's see how season one plays out um maybe we get another mvp season from yelich season one not too good for the brewers 74 and 88 but we're not here for the brewers we're here for the one the only christian yelich he had the most doubles best slugging percentage and ops and then we look at the awards a hank aaron all right so let's take a look let's see how he had you know what his stats were for the year so he's down to a 97 um so the contract's an issue. That's really the, the the most negative thing that's going on there. I mean, I understand the team performance is knocking him down a little bit, but okay. And his potential's gone down. But look at his season. Why is he regressing when he has a 321 average, a 419 on base percentage, a 620 slugging, and an OPS of 1039? He hit 37 home runs, 112 RBIs, 181 hits. That's not a season where I would see a player regress. I would only see him get better. I would expect his stats to be like 99s across the board at this point. So that's that's a bit of an issue. I understand he's playing for a team that did poorly, he, you know, and I could see why the contract is an issue. But overall, I don't see why he would like regress so much. So with that being said, let's hop into season two. See how things go. Um, if anything happens, I'll show you guys. If not, we'll hop into season five as our next stopping point. All right, I normally don't stop every year, but this is season two. And as you can see, the potential and overall for Christian Yelich continues to go down when we look at his morale. The contract is becoming an issue. I definitely can tell that. The region not being close to home and then individual performance. You got team performance. So there are some things that are definitely affecting his morale. Um, but I don't understand why it's so much. And that's the thing. Like I get, and when you even look at his performance, a 282 average, 377 on base percentage and 859 OPS with 24 homers and 90 RBIs. That's not a bad year. I don't understand how that is considered a terrible performance compared to, I mean, I understand it's not the best. It's not amazing compared to his last two seasons but when you look at a season average a 282 average is not bad you know like his seasonal averages like his career averages they're not bad so it's sad to see this but it, it's looking like you may have to trade yelich to a team in california or close to california just to get him a little bit happier the contract there's something you really can't do until kind of that contract negotiation stage that contract extension stage so you're kind of in a tough bind when it comes to Christian Yelich. You know, what do you do with him? Do you keep him? Do you trade him? Do you try to get as much back for him? Um, because morale wise, 
you're lo it's looking like you're gonna have a christian yelich that's gonna tank in overall until something changes so i normally don't get involved with trades for career sims but because christian yelich is just going down at such an like, alarming rate this shouldn't happen right you're looking at his years he has a 321 a 282 a 266 and a 277 so again besides that 266 he's having very solid years the thing is his morale is just tanking just absolutely tanking and i feel like maybe we need to step in maybe we need to make a trade trade him to a team that's a little bit closer to the west coast maybe get him to a contender so that we don't have any more issues with morale that it just absolutely ruins his overall so we're going to send him to the Astros, who are currently in first place in the division, have one of the best records in baseball. We're getting Tony Kemp, Paul DeYoung, and Ian Happ in return. So hopefully we can, you know, follow Christian Yelich. His morale will go up. He'll actually get a boost in overall, see what he can really do without any negative morale effects and without any real negative just issues with his overall. So it actually paid off. The Astros defeated the Cubs in the 2022 World Series. So Christian Yelich got a World Series title. So... I do not want to advance because I want to see if he won an award. Um, doesn't look like it, but let's take a look. See how, just see how the year went for him because let's see if his you know morale and stuff have gone up just based on the fact that you know he's on a he's on a winning team. So it still says he's going down. Um, looking at his year, a 274 year with 29 home runs, almost 100 RBIs. I mean that's I'm looking at that. And I'm like that's a solid season. That's that's a good year. And it looks like just the contract is really hurting him, um, which I guess I mean, it makes sense. So he should get a big contract this year. He should be heading into free agency. So we'll see how that happens. But um, just again, another update. He does get a World Series title. All right. So morale through the roof for Christian Yelich, mostly because he got a fat contract playing for the New York Yankees. So you guys can see he's part of the Yankees now. So heading into season five, we should definitely see if we get a, a positive boost yeah season five this is season five yeah so you guys will see how it plays out for him he's 31 right now we're sitting at 219 for home runs 805 rbis and hits at 1500 a career average of 292 so it has dipped a little bit since we've started this but again for some reason he just regresses and i guess i guess the contract which we were never able to change anyways that plays a huge part of it um but other than that we really weren't able to change much besides a trade. But if you have a star player in Yelich, you don't want to trade him. So with the Yankees now, we'll see if he uh, he flourishes. His first year with the Yankees, Christian Yelich brings in a silver slugger. And it looks like the morale issue is gone. We'll take a look at his stats um, in just a second. Let me, uh, let me show you guys. So looking at Christian Yelich, he's an 89. He's actually still going down. Let's take a look why. I don't know why he's actually ecstatic to be with the Yankees um, so you guys can see there all morale issues are gone but when we look at his year I don't understand why he's still going down he's 31 he's I mean there's no age to decrease in rating his fielding has gone down I think like like seven points already throughout these years his hitting is continuously going down and when you look at his year he had a 309 average if anything he should be going up a 389 on base percentage, a 584 slugging, and a 974 OPS with 37 home runs, 111 RBIs, and almost 200 hits. Huh? He even stole 21 bases. It's just crazy. It doesn't make any sense why he is decreasing in rating at all. So that was, I think, five seasons into this sim. From now on, we're not going to stop unless anything crazy happens. So we're going to sim through the playoffs, see if he wins a second world series title if not i'll see you guys probably at season 10. all right as i'm simming through the the off season i usually just skip all notifications but i just saw christian yelich got traded and i don't know to who he got traded to so we gotta quickly we gotta quickly find it because i saw it was a team in red so we gotta we gotta figure out which team in red it was um Oh no, he got traded to the Marlins. He's back. Oh, look at how that has turned out. He is at, he's back home in Miami where he all started. So there's that. I wanted to show you guys, he actually got traded to the Marlins. So 
that is he's back he's back where it all started miami so let's see how that plays out for him so after being traded to the marlins i saw that christian yelich was third on the the depth chart essentially he's the the marlins signed another right fielder um after a season so he's third on the deck like in in order of right fielder so i'm gonna trade for him i know this is normally something i don't do but i kind of want to get a little bit better of an accurate representation of what christian yelich can put out like in terms of statistics numbers and just stat like i want to see what his stat line is going to be when he re retires not him wasting away um on the bench when he shouldn't be he's still a very solid right fielder so we're gonna we're gonna trade for him and uh just see how things go so in season nine of this career sim at the age of 35 christian yell or 36 now christian yelich retires he actually i actually extended his contract so that he would have stayed with the brewers for another three years but he just dropped in overall so fast so so fast and even in these two years you can see he played a fair amount of games he just not I guess not good enough and he just he just he dropped he dropped very very quickly so that's unfortunate because i feel like christian yelich has got a, a good amount of years left in him and i feel like this career sim because mlb franchise is so broken with their regression system it really hurts christian yelich but as you guys can see this is his these are his stats to finish off his career with 2162 hits a uh, total of 312 homer runs 1116 rbis and a career average of 290 so it, it it's it's about where he started when we started this career sim so overall i it's not a bad career i just think it was kind of tainted by the bad uh just the bad franchise mode regression system i really think that was an issue too so unfortunately there was no mvps one there was a silver slugger there was a world series with the astros other than that that that's about it for his accolades let's see if he win or is inducted into the hall of fame he is not he is not especially when you got mike trout and clayton kershaw there it's gonna be pretty tough um, but unfortunately that is where christian yelich retires after nine years into our sim so obviously he played a little bit longer but nine years into the sim at the age of 36 he retires so i hope you guys enjoyed this christian yelich career sim as you guys can see i kind of wanted to do this just to point out the issues with regression in franchise mode but also because christian yelich is an mvp player and i think it's kind of cool to see what he could do in franchise mode so i hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you did make sure you hit the like button down below subscribe if you're new and enjoy mlb content we're approaching that 15,000 mark i see it inching closer and closer every single day and uh, let's try to hit that by the end of the month and in the comment section let me know which player you guys would like to see next that's gonna end it guys i'll catch you all in the next video peace